Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek and today's case study, pay-per-click Google Ads case study video, we're going to run through another roofing company and this time frame we're looking at is December and you can see here they're not currently running but they'll be uh, fixing that shortly. <clears throat> so we're going to look at their statistics from December. Now this is an interesting case study because this guy is actually using a lot of broad match keywords. All right, and he's getting really good traffic too from them. Now I know I always tell you guys if you're if you're building if you're new to Google Ads or if you're building new campaigns, don't use broad match keywords. And I totally stand by that. You should be using exact and phrase. But if you're going to use broad match, you got to have a gigantic negative keyword list. Otherwise, you're going to get bombarded with garbage traffic that's not going to convert. So you can see here he's converting pretty well, 22%, which I'm totally happy with. Anything over 20% is awesome for us. So you can see here <clears throat> it's a roofing campaign. 250 a day budget. In December, they got 12,058 impressions. They've gotten 210 clicks at a click through rate of 1.74%, which is low, but that's because we're using so much broad match keywords. That's why that's low. The average cost per click was $27. The total spend for the month was 5,749. In return, they've gotten 47 leads at a cost per lead of $122.34. Conversion rate again, 22%, and we're using target CPA bidding strategy. So if we go look at the conversion actions, you're going to see that these are majority phone calls. So this conversion action phone call is someone who actually visits the client's landing page and clicks the number or picks up the phone and calls on the landing page. Then they've gotten 16 contact form submissions, which I'm going to show you the landing page in a minute. This is a full form contact form. It's not just an email or something you know stupid like that. They got a few local actions, which are just Google Maps stuff, which is um, you can add that in the uh, location extension in your ad extensions. So if we go back into the campaign, let's check out the ad groups. You can see here we have a bunch of geo ad groups: Bucks County. Quakertown, Percocy, Doylestown, <clears throat> but they're all pretty, um, pretty generic roofing stuff, like roofing ad groups. There's nothing crazy. Roof repair, flat roofing, roof replacement. Obviously, roof replacement's a big one because there's these are really high ticket jobs for roofers. Then a bunch of geo ad groups, roofing contractor. So if we go into let's say roof repair, you can see here we're using broad match, exact match. Let's go back into roof replacement. Same thing going on here. Broad match, exact match. So as crazy as it sounds, it turns out the phrase was the one, the match type that was driving a lot of like competitor style traffic in the search terms. It was a lot of people looking for other roofing company names. And obviously that's not a good thing. And it's, makes it a pain in the ass because then you have to make this giant negative keyword list of competitor names. But you got to do it. Got to go through it just the way it is. So yeah, they're, these are all pretty much the same. Mix of uh, exact match and broad match. I should probably filter these out. But you can see, as, as with all my case study videos, the ad groups are very tightly themed and we keep them that way because that's how we got to get our quality scores up we got to keep them so we can get the cost per click that's not ridiculous so it's important guys remember like I always say your ad group theme should have keywords themed to that ad group which should go to ads with those keywords in them and themes to those keywords that goes to a landing page talking about those keywords so if you look at this guy's landing page I'll come up here I already have it open you're gonna see it's very basic all right you have a I don't know if you can see that call to action button at the top right there talks about what they do professional roofers replacements installations maintenance and more talks about the roofing types talks about the areas they serve no job is too small or too big Call now, more call to actions, request a free roofing estimate. Here's the form, name, email, phone, tell us about your roofing issue. And then it says, welcome to the company name. And then it's got all about their company here and 
below that it's all reviews and all kinds of stuff like that. So this is not a crazy complicated landing page that converts at 22%. All right, now if we go into the device bids in the campaign, you're gonna see what type of traffic is actually converting. And we're going after desktop and mobile phones. Desktops, or actually mobile phone, surprisingly, I thought this campaign was more desktop, it's pretty even. Mobile phone is 23% conversion rate and desktop is 21%. So the cost per lead is a little high for the for roofing. Ideally, I like to get roofing around 70 bucks if possible, but this client was all right with uh, setting the target CPA higher and then working to whittle it down. So I think I can definitely get this under 100 with a little bit more tweaking in time. But that should be something to keep an eye out for in the roofing. I mean, I've seen roofing campaigns that are $350 a lead. And if they're good quality leads, people will pay. They don't care if they're a big enough company. But ideally, you want to get as low as possible. At 70 should be, you know, between 50 and 70 is extremely ideal if you can get that for roofing. I probably could if I just did all exact match, but then I would have no lead volume. And the clients would not be happy with that. <laughs> So we definitely want to try and walk that tightrope and balance lead quality with lead volume. And a lot of that has to do with going into your negative keywords. You can see here we have a ton of negative keywords. Just keep adding them every week. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. This, again, is a uh, roofing campaign. You can see here the ad group's very basic. Stick to the principles I teach you. Keep everything tightly themed. Make sure your landing page is tightly themed with all of what you're talking about in the ads and the and the keywords and stuff like that. Don't overcomplicate the landing page. Just build something, get it out there, get some traffic to it, tweak it, test it, adjust, and move forward. All right, guys, catch you later.